First of all, if you're a NPC. fan or have any affiliations with your family members liking it, just leave this fucking video right fucking now, dude. I don't give a fuck what you guys have. John in Tennessee, go ahead. What you want to say? That shit is fucking trash, dog. Get the fuck off the airwaves. Oh, come on. What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team, stand up. If you ain't earn a shit, if you ain't buy it, don't touch. Five, six, one. So niggas wanna dot, they make cause I'm cold blooded. I got too much paper, now they hatin', but them hoes love it. Niggas on the duct tapers, cause we cold blooded. Got too much paper, now they hatin', but these hoes love us. Coming in at nine is uh <laughs> Is my motherfucking nigga Flight Reacts. Now, I put this nigga above Logan Paul because I think he deserves it, bro. Flight is funny as fuck. And I, let's just listen to one of his songs. He comes at number nine for me, bro. I talked about Flight, but I know he could never become a rapper. He he reminds me of Ice JJ Fish of our generation, my nigga. Like, Flight is... He's a comedian, my nigga. Like, he's a comedian, but he's rapping. He deserves number nine, my nigga. Like... I don't know what you were thinking when you made this song, my nigga, but I'm gonna I'm show y'all this song, and if you never dropped this song, I would've put you higher on the list, but this shit is trash, my nigga. See, I really don't know if it's him that's offbeat, or the beat is just offbeat, like, I, I, I don't know, my nigga, but this shit is straight trash, bro. This shit is so bad. I'm moving Flight to number 10. Logan Paul is number 9. Flight, what the fuck is this, my nigga? Like, you gotta scrap this whole shit, my nigga. Like, I don't know if you playing, but you need to stop playing. Because this shit is trash. And you, you 10, my nigga. You, you 10. Logan Paul is number 9, bro. He better than you. I, I, I don't know why I put Logan Paul above you. Nigga, you are trash, my nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> move back up. If the next song that I hear it is good, I'm gonna move back up. Oh, good. Watch me top a roller. Uh, that shit I right, though. I, I'm gonna give you. Nah, you stay in that 10, my nigga. You trash. You trash at everything. I don't, I don't know why you walking out, but you just are, my nigga. I tried to give you a benefit of doubt. I tried to give you number 10, my nigga. I tried. I really did, bro. I swear to God. I was trying to, like, give you that 9 spot, but after, like, coming in and trying to take it serious, like, it's a joke, my nigga. You just trash. Uh, like, honestly, I'm gonna put Jake Paul at 10, and now you number 11, my nigga. You ain't, you ain't even on the top 10 list, nigga. I, I, I ain't even putting you in the video no more type shit. But nah, man. <laughs> Fly, my nigga. We moving on, bro. Fuss Def Curry. 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 Pull up on a nigga bitch and think that I'm Kobe. Come on, Curry. Like, Curry's gonna whip his ass. I got money on Curry, dog. Hey! Oh, what the fuck? This shit is fucking scripted anyway, dawg. The WWE was always scripted. <laughs> it's so obvious. Oh my god. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Nice, Curry. Good shit, Curry. Whoop his ass. That's the win. Oh! He's down! Alabrazi! Oh! Curry won! Curry won! Curry won! I knew it! I knew it! Curry with a G that man in hands. I had my doubts in the fucking beginning, my ninja. Breakfast ball handling. Oh, yo, that is dope as fuck. No NBA player right now can even do that fucking shit, bro. That is fucking amazing as shit right here. This is what I'm talking about. Pure athleticism, pure agility, bro. This has to take the right sense of mind. Like, only a player out of one in a million years comes like that into form, bro. Everybody needs to witness greatness, man. We were playing on the road. Of course, we're going to have to switch it up to the home. We are going to be playing the Chicago Bulls, my favorite NBA player. He still just, just barely, barely. If this man does not do anything to help the Chicago Bulls get near the finals or he doesn't stay healthy, bruh, I may have to find one. I mean, I, have, I ain't gonna lie. I haven't been waiting to Steph Curry. I don't give a shit what anybody says. I haven't been waiting to Steph Curry. I don't give a shit what anybody says. <laughs> Kristen Perzinkers. 
Jason Perzine. Wow. Dr. Wayne Stone. Here's Middleton. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. A third in wind shares. That pretty much says it all. Damn, where's Josh Smith that, yo? Josh Smith that, yo? And one of our early Where's videos, Josh Smith that you put these the no-name players early on that played in like the 30s and Duncan? shit? Where's the Josh Smith that, no, yo? Come on now. Think. He's boring as shit to watch. Who the hell wants to watch Tim Duncan? Yeah, he's going to give you a good 20, 25, and 10 a game. But is anybody going to really pay $500 plus dollars to go watch a Tim Duncan game? Or a Wilt Chamberlain game? Or a Bill Russell game? I'd rather watch either of those two than Tim Duncan. Shit. Are you putting him at number 10? Or are you just mentioning people? In that 84 season, success really was an insane teammate. Not on the list. Hakeem Olajuwon. Fucking not on the list! Are you fucking serious? He's not on the list! You put, you took Iverson, that's the first nigga that came up in your head. He's not on the list? Bro, I honestly don't even want to watch this shit anymore, bro. Just, I'm low-key not trying to burn bridges, bridges. But damn, bro. Insane big man. Hakeem Olajuwon, that's, I mean, that's okay. Oh, nobody cares about Hakeem. Oscar Robinson, nobody cares about Oscar, okay? I can agree with those last two, but Iverson, bro? You are tripping, bro. You are tripping. When it's all said, oh gosh, bro, I'm not even gonna watch this, bro. I'm not even gonna watch. I'm literally about to just turn this video off and just go outside and probably not even have an upload for today. That's how bad it is. He just took out. He just took. Put Kareem at number four. I what? Did he just say he put Kareem at number three? Kareem does not belong on the list. Kareem does not belong on the list. Kareem does not belong on the list. Stop. Stop. Right, period. Point blank, clear. Curry would not be, would not go down his back. Other than that, nigga, I'm taking even defense. Defensively, I'm taking Curry over Magic. Tried to suck him in on a call on that one. Officials all over it. They read it. Yeah, very fast. <laughs> Yo, that shit was fucking hilarious, bro. What is Stephen Curry middle name? I feel like it's Wardell. I hate to click Wardell, man. Oh, bro, who's gonna remember a middle name though? Cannon, make him a big ass fan, bro. Straight up. Showing the heart of a fan. Bro, you suck. You suck. Damn. Oh my gosh.
guys know how I rock. I have to get my drill moves on complete A1, people, especially for me not being on the court. I decided to go with a different one. Usually, I always go with the one called Lake Lotto. If you guys have been paying attention for the ones in the past, I will leave the most supportive one down below in the description because then again, you guys were talking about, hey, Fly, you helped me through my weight loss. I've gotten so much energy. If you guarantee you just go out one day out of the week, I prefer a Monday. And let me tell you why. A very, very wise man once said, if you exercise early in the a.m. on Monday, you tend to be 75%. And this guy is walking around like he won the title. It bothers me. Enough. You got to get it done. Period. No more excuses. No more. I don't care about what products you're selling. All right. How about winning? Win for one. Just win. win. Um, next. Okay, next person. <laughs> Would you smash or pass Flight Reacts? Bro, I had him on my list. Oh, really? Yes. yes. Okay, good. We're both, uh, we both picked the same person. So, I personally don't know him. I don't personally know him either, but we just met him at Sneaker Games in Houston. And he's really cool, really nice. Um, I mean, I don't think he's bad looking. <laughs> Sorry, my sign fell. Uh, okay, ready? One, two. <laughs> I was <laughs> um, um, I mean, I. I have my reasoning for that, but I'm not gonna say it. So, oh, your reasoning, yeah. I mean, I feel like I would, but at the same time, I feel like I won't, because. I probably feel like he's more like a brother too. All right. Well, I don't really know so, him. So, I mean, he's good looking. Okay, let me change this. He's good looking, but I'm a pass because he's more of like on a brother level. I don't blame him, bro. You know that barber probably charged him like 280, bro. This man literally went from can I get a hug to like, bro, delete that picture off of Instagram you just posted right now. My girl's following you type of look. No cat. I would do the same, bro. He this barber, bro. He definitely charged him like two twenty and the tip. Oh my gosh. My Chick Fil A. I told him, my nigga, how you gonna sit up here and betray me like that? Like I sat here every time I got a haircut from your ass. You know, like I gave you legitimately like almost a hundred dollars every fucking haircut. Even when you fucked up, clearly I still gave you hundred dollars to support your ass. That's it. Go subscribe channel Ava. Support on her journey. I still want to see successful. Maybe. Day we can work out. Yo, is there like something conspiracy about it? Like, were they trying to symbolize that they was trying to get married? I know I'm not the only one that's now. This, you know, that's a sensitive type topic, you know. But were they trying to be best friends and just make them the dog owner, or were they trying to symbolize them getting married and promote something else? I'm looking at the conspiracyness of this stuff. I'm just wondering. Say, yeah. do it again. Stay please. off the weed. <laughs> <laughs>